Well, hi everyone, I'm Judy Elliott and welcome to our show today. We are delighted to be visiting with the DDDA, uh, which is Downtown Dalton Development Authority here in Downtown Dalton. I'm going to be talking first with Audrey Batts, and, uh, who is the program coordinator here. And Audrey, thank you so much for letting us come down and talk with you today. Absolutely. We always love the chance to get to talk and uh, be on the show with you. Yeah. And I, I know we're going to be talking also with George Woodward during this whole uh, entire segment here and uh, talk a little bit more about what's going on in downtown Dalton. I wanted to talk with you first, though, to talk about the, the challenges that have been presented to us during COVID uh, this year. And, and I know even with that, you've been very, very active and very, very um, diligent in helping small businesses in downtown Dalton. Tell me some of the things that's been happening and how you have had to make some changes in order to keep everything continuing in the marketing field. Sure. So. Um you know, typically my day to day is that I, you know, when we're not fighting COVID, <laughs> I, um, you know, spend a lot of time um, working with merchants to, to make sure they have what they need in terms of marketing, getting their name out there, helping to make sure they're successful. Um, so this year that has looked a little bit different, you know, still continuing to meet with merchants and but doing so on, you know, virtually or on the phone. Um, we've also created some new, um, new marketing type um, strategies, pro, uh, projects, if you will. Um, one thing we started was to assist our restaurants um, in letting people know what type of services they're offering in addition um, to, the, to dine in or in place of dine in. Mm -hmm. um, so we created a website called Bite Out of Downtown Dalton. Mm -hmm. And that um, is a place where you can go online and look at all of the, the different restaurants in the downtown area, see their hours, see their links to order online and what type of services they have. So we have an Instagram page for that, Bite Out of Downtown Dalton, um, which is a really cool way to get updates on all of our restaurants um, and following along on our social media as well um, for Downtown Dalton are a good way to stay updated on what's going on. Right, now I know that um uh, there's a lot of things, um, you know, I know we've even been going out still uh, very, very cautiously, mm -hmm. staying your distance and, mm -hmm. and doing in, um, some interviews with the downtown merchants as mm -hmm. well to um, promote and, and continue that process as well. What, Absolutely. Uh, what about um, like small business day, small business? Mm -hmm. Tell me a, bit, a little bit about that. Sure. So we talk a whole lot. You hear shop small, shop local. You hear those things all the time. Um, but I think it's really a matter of changing our our thought process you know if there's something you need instead of putting it on your your big box store list you know think where can i get this at where can i get this locally where can i get this that a neighbor owns and mm -hmm. you know something you know think downtown mm -hmm. and um so i think that it's just really shopping small as a matter of just kind of changing our mindset and mm -hmm. and, and thinking to replace things where we can with local right you know it's so important as we've talked before to support our local businesses because this mm -hmm. is our community this is what you know helps our economy and it helps all the, the small businesses um, to, to shop local and that is our first thought as you mentioned mm -hmm. what can we do what can we get here which I can't imagine <laughs> what you couldn't get here <laughs> right. because a lot of the, the businesses here I mean I would say all the businesses here have their own unique way their own unique style absolutely it, it's just if you haven't been down to downtown dalton you're really missing a lot <laughs> yeah it, it that's what you know makes everything unique you know you don't say let's go to dalton and check out their strip mall you say let's go to dalton and see all those neat little shops they have downtown yeah. and get something unique for lunch right i know i have family that comes in from Colorado and you know what the first thing that let's go down to downtown Dalton <laughs> well, go good. And this is a true story I mean we do and so I think that speaks a lot for our community and for our downtown um, merchants and what all they're doing I know that um, you know uh, you're doing a lot um, with um, DDDA is definitely uh, there to help the businesses absolutely and, um, anyone who's interested also can check out uh, an opportunity that they may want to start their own business or move in a storefront, et cetera. Absolutely. We're always happy to talk to people who've got interest in downtown for sure. Right, right. Now, I know that um, that um, there's a lot of different approaches that you've just mentioned mm -hmm. during this time, and you will continue that as we walk through this process. Absolutely. Uh, we'll continue our, you know, to support our merchants and every, and you know, businesses in every way we yep. can. 
One thing that we do that's a major support is that we're a member, um, accredited member of the Main Street, uh, the Main Street community. So Main Street America, as well as Main Street Georgia. Mm -hmm. So that's something that kind of, it's the tenants that we use to, to take our approach to downtown through historic preservation, economic development, mm -hmm. marketing promotions and design. Right. And we're going to take a look at that video that yes. they were developed, and this yes. is going to give you a, kind of an idea of the format of, of what's here happening Absolutely, as well. yes. Uh, All right. Yep, Main Street celebrating 40 years, and Dalton is celebrating 35 Wonderful. years as a Main Street city. So that's, it's a huge accomplishment and something we're really proud to be a wow. part of. that's wonderful. Thank you for all the hard work you and George Woodward is doing down here. Now we're going to take a look at this video, but when we come back, we're going to continue this show talking with George Woodward, who is the, the executive director here at Downtown Dalton Development Authority. Thank you. Thanks so much, Judy. In the world of Main Street, it's been said before that we are economic development in the context of historic preservation. But what that really means is we're about supporting sustainable growth downtown while still preserving the heart of our community. Our focus and our charge is to protect the history, the heritage, and the infrastructure that exists in these downtowns. Part of the Main Street strategy uh, focuses on historic preservation because it's one of the key ingredients to a successful place. It's not incidental that that's part of the playbook. Absolutely. I think it's really, really tough to invent a new place from scratch that's got the subtlety of design and, and difference and age and patina and attraction that an old place has. This year we're celebrating 40 years of Main Street, which is so exciting. To be one of the first state coordinating programs to implement this on a local level, to be celebrating this with the National Main Street Center, I could not be more proud to be where we are as a Main Street state coordinating program today. The Georgia Main Street program works with over a hundred communities across the state of Georgia focusing on economic development in the context of historic preservation. Our program was founded in 1980 in conjunction with the start of the Main Street movement across the country. Georgia leads the way every single year in our annual impact of how much private and public investment is happening across our state. After 40 years of being a part of the National Main Street program, it's so exciting to see the evolution of the Main Street approach on the ground in our communities. Every year we have approximately a half a billion dollar annual private public investment impact. We're seeing a little over 3,500 net new jobs created, equaling one Kia plant being opened in Georgia every single year. That kind of growth and development just doesn't happen anywhere else. And this is happening in our historic downtowns and credited to these small independent mom and pop businesses that are are helping to sustain them. The Main Street program was really founded because we saw a shift happening in the economics of downtown. We started to see the decline happening. That's where Main Street stepped in. How can we help support these small businesses? The Main Street approach is made up of four pillars. These pillars are design, organization, economic development, and promotions. We believe that when these elements come together in a balanced approach, we get good downtown development practices. Celebrating 40 years of Main Street is an incredible milestone to reach. We've seen so much evolution over the past 40 years, and I'm so excited to see the direction that we're moving in. We are Main Street. Well, as we continue uh, talking with uh, Downtown Dalton Development Authority, I'm talking with George Woodward, Executive Director. George, that was a great video that we just saw. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's a good promotional video from Georgia Main Street, which we're proud to be a part of. Right. Now, I know with uh, some of the things that um, have presented this up with COVID again, uh, how has downtown Dalton fared otherwise? Well, really, Julie, uh, Judy, I, I think that we've done considerably well. We've had a lot of uh, businesses come in this year. Uh, we've we've uh, actually increased employment in some areas. We'll have to factor in some, some of the employers in downtown, like many other employers have gone remote. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to look at next year to see how we've really done. But we brought in some new businesses. We've got uh, six new apartments. We have wow. six lofts being under construction right now. Mm -hmm. We've had some purchases of buildings. We've had renovations going on. So all in all, we've done pretty well, even though COVID was here. Right, definitely. So, and I know that recently, uh, well, you did roll out the master plan and um, some months ago, actually, but what are some of the projects that were completed this year on that master plan? Well, master plan is going pretty well. Obviously, it's something that's going to last for a number of years. 
and things will be changed and modified as we go on. It's a dynamic plan. But one of the things that we're proud of this year is that on the public parking, we've got a new public parking sign that the, uh, the uh, fabrication was done by Manly mm -hmm. Fabrication and, uh, and then put up recently. It's got new lighting on it. We'll be working with public works to uh, renovate the whole parking deck, mm -hmm. restriping, uh, pressure washing, painting, that sort of thing. And then to go along with that, we're going to have the uh, Burr Park Pavilion that was just approved by the city council. Mm -hmm. They've approved $300,000 to match $300,000 with the community foundation. Wow. And so we'll have a new building there. Mm -hmm. It will have restrooms. It will have a vending area. And we'll have a green room for our entertainers because most of wow. the time we're doing things in the afternoon, you know, yes. 5, 36 o'clock yes. and the sun's right overhead. Yes. Very hot. So a place for our entertainers to go once they've set up and done their sound checks and relax a little bit before they have to perform. That is wonderful. Wow, that is fantastic news. Yeah. Um, Streetscape, we've got that scheduled. We're working with Public Works again to look at the stormwater, the underground utilities, all the prep work that needs to be done mm -hmm. so we can do Kyler Street, the two blocks from, from Hamilton to Thornton, and then also that one block of Penn Street between Kyler and Gordon Street. Mm -hmm. My goodness, very, very active this year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, really, with all the challenges that have been, really, DDEDA has really stayed very active, as you can see, and, and you're going to see it as forthcoming um, here well, yeah. next year. In addition, we've had some alleyway projects that are going on. We've done the surveying. We've looked at the utility setup. We'll be looking at moving those utilities underground mm -hmm. and doing a lot of beautification uh, efforts with, uh, with our building owners. Wonderful, that's great. Tell me about what will be the focus coming up with uh, 2021? Well, really the board will be taking the master plan this year and putting it into a strategic plan for two year phases. So it will be a plan for two years. The three areas that they'll concentrate on are business activation and development, downtown living, and transportation and pedestrian experience. Oh. So they'll look at what we need to do. The kind of development we have going on now is great, but we really need to look down the road. We have a constitutional authority, has broad development powers. How are we going to utilize that in the future? Mm -hmm. Downtown living, we need more folks living here. So happy to say that the uh, Belt uh, Gallant building, uh, scheduled for apartments, that will be started back up here in the next few weeks. Okay, so cool. we'll have that going on. And then we need to look at walkability, transportation, parking education, all those kinds of things in the future. My goodness, that is wonderful that this will be happening. And, and you mentioned living downtown. I think that is a wonderful way to experience downtown Dalton. Yes. And, and actually, you know, the more businesses you bring down here, the more you're going to have to have residents, people live here to utilize those buildings and those services. Right, right. Well, George, it's been so wonderful being with you today and you and Audrey and listen to finding out what is happening here in downtown Dalton. We appreciate all the hard work that you're providing and all you're doing for our community. Well, we appreciate your support and all you do for our merchants with your infomercials. Thank you so much. Thank you, George. And we'll see you next time. To advertise your business on TV, contact Elliott Media at 706-529-4237.